So I came to tap in because Irv is still catching the business. <laughs> you know, Rock Nation gave gave uh, Fat Joe that green light to go on go on Irv, right? For a minute ago, Irv and John them was Fat Joe's brother. Everybody's Fat Joe's brother. Now he going in on Irv, but you can tell that Fat Joe's, you know, Irv's a sucker, man. He's a sucker. You know, you can tell like that ain't authentic. Yo, this nigga's a sucker. That nigga's a sucker. You can tell like somebody's pushing him out there on the stage to go out there to say, yo, Ir yo, Joe, we need you to go out there and, and, and shoot Irv down. You know what I'm saying? They pushed Fadjo out there on the stage. He just got in front of him and said, Irv, man, Irv's a sucker, man. Irv's a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was not saying it like, yo, Irv, yo, you a sucker for getting out of something. They pushed him out there. You know what I'm saying? Because technically, just because Fat Joe did it, a bunch of people did shows, I mean, songs with Ashanti. Like, don't act like she wasn't sleeping with a, a married man, Fat Joe, for you to be, like, acting like he dragged her, like she didn't put herself in that position. She was with a married man. You know what I'm saying? Like Ja Rule said, stay out grown folk business. <laughs> well, stay, keep him out of grown folk business. That's what Ja Rule said. Man, keep me out of grown folk business. Basically said, nigga, stay out of grown folk business. That's Irv's business. But for us in entertainment, that report, the current events report, the news, it's all our business. It's hip hop business. But Irv did respond to Fat Joe. And what did he say? We're going to, uh, real quick, throw up the copyright disclaimer under the Section 107 of Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit and educational or personal use tips. The balance in favor of fair use. All right. But here is what Joey Crack had to say about, I mean, excuse me. This is what Irv Gotti had to say in response to Fat Joe. And then I'm going to, it's a simple, it's a perfect, well, no, not perfect. There's, Something that y'all should notice about Irv in this interview, but I'll point it out if you don't take notice to it, but I'm going to point it out regardless. But listen, here's Irv's Gotti response to Fat Joe. You okay? Hey, Joe, he called you a sucker for talking about all this stuff 20 years later. How you feel about that? I know you saw it. Yeah, I, I feel like he fooled me. Not my friend. Whoa! I was fooled, but in life you get fooled. But did you know what? It, <laughs> what they don't want you to say that? But in life, I, forget forget Joe, because they don't want me to talk about Joe. Okay, so I'm okay. Talk about Joe. I'm talking about life, right? And in life, everyone goes through friends, people who you thought was your friend. I'm not talking about Joe. Let me let me talk. So in life, I've had countless friends come and go. But you know what remains consistent and why I get through with all of this? Why? My family. Because I don't really need friends. You know, I don't really need friends. Hey, Joe, he called you a sucker for talking about all this stuff 20 years later. How do you feel about that? I know you saw it. Man, I, I feel like he fooled me. He's not my friend. Whoa. I was fooled. But in life, you get fooled. But, but you know what? <laughs> what? They don't want you to say that? But in life. Uh, forget, forget Joe, because they don't want me to talk about Joe. Okay, so I'm okay. About Joe. I'm talking about life, right? And in life, everyone goes through friends, people who you thought was your friend. I'm not talking about Joe. Let me let me talk. So in life, I've had countless friends come and go, but you know what remains consistent and why I get through with all of this? Why? My family, because I don't really need friends. You know, I don't really need friends. Hey, Joe, he called you a sucker for talking about all this stuff. Okay. 
Now, my observation is this. Who is controlling your mouth, Gotti? Who's telling you don't talk about Joe, Gotti? Like, yo, 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 Gotti, on Dream Champs, somebody behind the scenes is controlling your mouth. They telling you don't say this, don't say that. Is that what it is? You get the 300 million, you get to the bag, and now you can't, motherfuckers is telling you what you can't say and who you can't talk about, Gotti? This is why I don't want no bags from nobody. This is why I don't, y'all want to, yo, choke, yo, you should go do a show, this, that, up. I don't want to be Irv. I don't want to be Irv where I can't talk no more freely. I can't be the man that I've always been. They was, BT people shutting them down over there at what's called, and you know what it is. They scared of Rock Nation. Jay-Z, yo, don't talk about Joe. Don't talk about Joe. Man. Fat Joe think he's blacker than everybody in the black community. He is not subjective that he cannot be talked about. That nigga is, excuse me, he is subjective to be talked about like everybody else, especially when he talking about black people business. Irv, man. Irv, I know you're not getting ready to be start being a sensitive ass nigga at the motherfucking ninth inning, the bottom uh, two strikes and three balls. You want to goddamn start being a bitch ass nigga? Niggas is starting to control what you say, Earth. You can't talk about who the f Who is Fat Joe? That these people in their background is telling you, you cannot talk about Fat Joe. Why can't you address Fat Joe? And this nigga called you a sucker. And you biting your tongue? This nigga called you a fucking sucker. And you, and they telling you not to talk about him. And he called you a sucker about your business with Ashanti that have nothing to do with him. He called you a sucker. And you biting your motherfucking tongue, nigga? Yo, Rock Nation got a dick down, so deep down y'all niggas' throats that is coming out y'all butthole. Or y'all got a pee-pee a -pee in y'all butthole so deep that it's coming out your mouth. Why can't niggas speak they mind? Why can't dudes speak the truth? What is going on out here? Earth. You can't talk about Fat Joe? You know how you sound? And then you tell me, oh, chill, I, I ain't talking about Joe. We, You are talking about Joe. We know who you're talking about. Fat Joe ain't your friend. No more, because he over there with Jay-Z. You think that if he was in that rock nation, that he would have gave a fuck what you said about Ashanti, my nigga. Come on, Irv. Rock Nation got y'all niggas scared to death. Y'all niggas. Hey, Joe, he called you a sucker for talking about all this stuff 20 years later. How you feel about that? Yo, the dude saying that, yo, Fat Joe called you a sucker. And you biting your tongue in your response. Y'all niggas got to pull y'all skirts up, man. Oh, you saw it. Man, I, I feel like he fooled me. He's not my friend. 